What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. And a few days ago, my AC unit went out. Well, that happens all the time with me because I married an Eskimo. No, she's not a real Eskimo, but she likes cold air. My wife loves cold air. I'm talking about 71 to 73 degrees Fahrenheit. She works that AC unit full time. She has it so cold that my windows have condensation on it. I wear jackets. That's how cold it is in my house. And AC units are electrical mechanical devices like cars. They're electrical mechanical. If you abuse your car, you're gonna have to service your car more, more often. Same thing goes for an AC unit. If you abuse your AC unit, you're gonna have to service it more often. Um, so we called maintenance. The maintenance came out, AC repair tech, and he taught me a lot about my AC unit. He's a very knowledgeable guy. His name was Thomas and I'm gonna share his knowledge with you guys. If this video helped you out and got your AC unit up and running, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that may find this video useful, click on the share button and share this video to them, help someone out. So I'm gonna start, start off with step one, which is the obvious. Clean your air filters. Cleaning your air filters will make your AC unit run smooth. If you open up your air vent and you see that your air filter is dirty, just change it out. Don't wait 90 days. Some air filters say 90 days, change it out. Don't wait the 90 days. If they look dirty, change it out. Step two, if your air is not blowing out or you're not getting cold air, well, you wanna check your drain pan. If your drain pan is full, there's a could be a clog in the drain line. So if your drain pan is full, what happens is the moisture will um, build up and then the float switch will toggle and turn off your air handler. So what you wanna do is get a wet vac, drain the, um, unclog the drain line from the outside drain line or the, from the inside, or you could do both sides. And you also wanna use that wet vac and drain the moisture out of the drain pan. And that um, switch, the float switch, should reset. Or you may have to, or if the air handle is turned off because the circuit breaker, you may have to go to the circuit breaker and toggle the, um, the circuit breaker air handler switch. If it's off, just move it to the on position. So if you see a frozen line on your outside unit, or if you see a frozen line in your inside unit, then that could be a sign of a clogged drain or a clogged air filter. Three, if you hear a big pop outside your house and your AC stops working, that could be a blown capacitor. Now, for me, it was a blown capacitor. Uh, we we're getting air getting blown through the vent, but it wasn't cold air. So uh, when the AC guy came out, he checked uh, quite a few things. He opened up the panel on the side of the outside unit and he saw that the capacitor was blown. I'm gonna show you what a bad capacitor looks like. There, there's two types of capacitors. There's a dual capacitor and then there's the regular capacitor where it hooks to a fan and the other one's to the compressor. So I'm gonna show you um, what the dual capacitor looks like. That's what's in my unit. Now, if you have a bad capacitor, I highly recommend calling AC Tech to replace it because this holds voltage and it can knock you on your ass. Same thing goes for any, um, anything that you have to open up the panel on your AC unit, the outside unit or the inside of your um, AC unit. You wanna call the AC Tech just in case because you don't wanna get injured or further um, damage your AC unit. So right here is my blown capacitor. And you can see the prongs, see how they're like not straight up. And you can tell, it's hard to see. And then right here, it's swollen. And then on top is also swollen. It's hard to see it, but it's just a little bubble on top. But really, main, mainly right here, you can see it's swollen. Let me compare it to this capacitor so you get a better idea. So see how they slightly look different. This is flat. The prongs, the terminals are going straight up. Right there. And then see how it's slightly bulged right there. And this is flat. The best way to check is if you place a good capacitor down. Well, this may not be good. Actually, the only way to test um, some capacitors look good and there could be bad. You have to check it with an ohm meter or a capacitor meter. Uh, it reads capacitance. But anyhow, you put, put this down on a flat surface, all right, and see how that just stays put. And then you put this one down on a flat surface and it has a little wobble to it. See that? And you put this one down. 
See that? Now it's still wobbling. Well, that's because there's a bolt bubble on top. It's swollen. See? I'm putting both down. And that one's wobbling. And same thing goes for TVs. In the um, power supply in the TV, you feel it on top. These capacitors are actually brand new. They're flat on top. And then these capacitors right here are bulged on top. These, of course, are smaller, but they're in the power, su power supply and they hold voltage. And if your fan outside doesn't move, doesn't turn on, or struggles to move, it's because these capacitors can't kickstart the fan. It needs to be replaced and then the fan will start moving outside. So my outside fan wasn't turning on because of this one bad capacitor. And this is a dual capacitor. So on this, it'll say C. Okay, there's the letter C right there. I don't know if you can see that. That's common. And over here, that's the fan. It connects to the fan. And this right here, this is Herm. Hermetically sealed compressor which um, I think it's hermetically means uh, air sealed compressor, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sure someone will correct me. If you guys are uh, AC techs, and if you have more information or you wanna share your videos or share your website, leave a link in the video description below. But on um, some other AC units, you'll see a separate capacitor for fan and a separate capacitor for the Herm, All right? And this is right here, it tells you the specs. So this is a, uh, 40 microfarads, okay? And then and there's like a slash because there's two, this is a dual capacitor, that's why there's a slash right there. And then right here, there's a 440 VAC, that's the voltage, and you can see that's why it's so big. This capacitor is huge compared to these because this capacitor right here is only 16 volt. That's why it's smaller. Four is your system has low freon. It could be a leak in one of your lines, so I highly suggest calling AC Tech, them um, check your, see if you have a leak in your lines. If not, um, they'll test that, and then just fr um, fill up the freon. But you can't um, take a freon can and just connect it to your AC unit and just fill up your freon yourself. You have to be certified, so make sure you contact a certified AC Tech to fill up your Freon in your AC unit. Otherwise, you can uh, get in big trouble and get fined for messing around with Freon because it does damage the atmosphere. If you guys are interested in air filters, a wet vac, or even capacitors for your AC unit, check out the links in the video description below. Those links support the channel at no extra cost to you guys. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, click on the subscribe link right here or the subscribe button down below. And if you want to check out my other tutorials, click on this playlist link right here. Thanks guys for watching.